Hello again, it's John Peel on the BBC World Service. It was Donovan who sang, The Sun is Sinking Down Behind the Tattered Tree, or it could have been Behind the Tattooed Tree. Either way, it's got nothing to do with this. Get it, man. I'll turn you on. And now I can't turn you on. I'll turn you on. Now I can't turn you on. What a good, good feeling, a good sensation, oh, you'll be, baby, oh, what a great combination, ah, sack it to me, uh, sack it to me, sack it to me, sack it to me, ah, turn you on, and I'll get you on your own, I'll turn you on, now I'll get you on your own, what a good, good feeling, Well, I'll see what I can do, but I'm not making any promises. This is Latin Breed, and it's a 7-inch single on the Funk 45 label. It's called I Turn You On, but then most of them were. This is from the Broken Family Band from Cambridge.
A little bit Ball Boy and a little bit Herman Dune. I think that's the Broken Family Band from an LP called The Broken Family Band plays The King Will Build a Disco and the track was Queen of the Sea. These are Noisy Scandos, The Helicopters, by the grace of God. Any of you old enough to remember a band called SRC may, sound that, may find that uh, guitar sound vaguely familiar. Those are the helicopters and the title track from the current LP, By the Grace of God. And this next record is by Mayagi. How do you spell that exactly? <laughs>
Well, me too. My links get more hilarious every week, too. Well, we'll not take a vote on it. That's uh, Mayagi in the seven-inch single on Howlin' Records. That's Freddie Fresh's label, let me remind you. And that's called uh, I Got Beat Up by a 303. And here's a bit of a classic from 1976. A massively influential record, and I always like the fact, too, that one of the backing singers at one stage comes in a bit early, and it's just left in there. Somebody goes, ah, like that. Max Romeo with The Offsetters, a record produced by Lee Perry, issued in 1976, and that's uh, one step forward. These are the hives.
Most of the hives and the tracks called Outsmarted and it surfaces here on a compilation LP which is called Rough Trade Shops Rock and Roll Volume 1. There is a Rough Trade Shops Rock and Roll Volume 2. I'm not absolutely certain whether these have gone into the shops or not and whether they've just been sent around to certain privileged persons like myself. But there's a lot of good rowdy tunes on there either way. I mean people like the Stooges and Boss Hog and Von Bondies, Detroit Cobras. Well I could read out all of the names if I had a mind to. The Four Pixies and so forth. Cramps there, there, Guitar Wolf. But this next is from a Ball Boy and it's from an LP called A Guide for the Daylight Hours. I've played quite a few tracks from this LP on these programmes and uh, this is... what am I going to play you now? Hold on a second. This is uh, Nobody Really Knows Anything. <laughs> This is the excellent Ball Boy from Edinburgh and from their LP, A Guide for the Daylight Hours. Nobody really knows anything. It's the last record I have for you this week here on the BBC World Service. Thanks for listening. Until next week, goodbye.